Welcome to the Motivational Institute, where passion and purpose will always find you. My name is Stacey Burrell, and thanks so much for tuning in today. So today's message this morning is very simple, and it is don't stop, don't quit, and don't give up. Are you facing something that's hard, that's challenging, that is really challenging you mentally, physically, and spiritually? Well, if that's the case, please know that you are not alone. Do not stop, do not quit, and don't give up. One of the things that I'm noticing and then through what people have told me and what I've experienced myself is a lot of us have to dig really deep right now, deeper than we've had to dig before. And it's easy for the enemy to creep into your mind and tell you that you can't do something, you can't have something that you're not worthy or that you're not capable or that you're not going to weather this storm. That's what the enemy does because the enemy starts to attack us when we feel that we're losing hope. Don't stop, don't quit, and don't give up. Whatever you're going through right now in your life, it has purpose. Just like Carolyn Mike said, and I mentioned that, if you have life, you have purpose. If you have trials and tribulations, there is purpose in that because God uses everything. He does. He uses every single thing that we're going through. We don't feel like it in the moment because we're experiencing it and it's uncomfortable. It could be painful. We cannot understand it. But as the Bible says, do not lean to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. He's going to direct our path. He's going to tell us where we need to go or not. Don't stop. Don't quit. Don't give up. I was speaking to a mentor of mine yesterday and just kind of telling her about some things that I have been experiencing lately. And she reminded me of the importance of just being still. And she said, you know what, Stacey, if you're not sure what to do professionally, you know, you're not sure what to do with the Motivational Institute, just take a pause. Don't do anything. Just be still. Just be still and try to minimize yourself and ask yourself, what does God want me to do in this situation? So maybe you can do that in the situation that you're in right now. Maybe you've been, you've been putting a lot of effort into it. And I commend you for that because the soul is the part of us that never gives up hope. And we are going to continue to push and push because that's our human nature. That's our desire. But it's really important for us to say, okay, let me just sit in this now. Let me just pause and let God come in the midst of it. Let him start to reveal to you what it is that he wants you to do, what he wants you to say, what moves he wants you to make. Because I guarantee you, he does not want you to stop. He does not want you to quit. And he does not want you to give up. And the reason that you're facing this challenge is because there's something so much greater on the other side. And it's hard because sometimes we got to work for it. You know, it just doesn't appear to us on a silver platter. And it's going to be that much sweeter when you do get to get past it because of what you put into it. Eric Thomas says this, and he says, we have to love the process and not the prize because the prize is coming. You will get to that finish line. You will conquer, you know, whatever it is that you're facing right now. And you will be successful in that. But just know that there's so much richness in the process. There's so much to be learned in the trial. So Maybe sit back and ask yourself, what does God want me to learn in this moment? You know, what kind of meaning can I draw from this? And if you can't understand it, that's okay. It's not our job to do that. You know, it's just our God, it's just our job to trust God because he's going to take care of you. I, I guarantee you that. I promise you that. He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. He is there with you. And one of the quotes that I love is no matter what we go through in our life, God is going through it with us. He is there in the storm with us, you know? Um, and so you're not alone. Just know that. Don't stop. Don't quit. Do not give up. So I pray that this was an encouraging message for you today on this fabulous Monday. And uh, stay tuned for more, vid more videos. God bless you all. Talk to you soon.